hey guys and welcome back so today i'll show you how you can turn this boring photo into dramatic using your Lightroom mobile app so before we start follow me on instagram if you haven't yet and let's get started so first of all i'm gonna decrease the contrast a bit okay and then i'm gonna bring down the highlight to get back some details on the bright area and then i'm gonna increase the shadow to brighten up the darker area and then i'm gonna bring down the whites just a bit And lastly, I'm gonna decrease the blacks to get back some details on the dark area. Okay. Then I'm gonna go to the effect panel. I'm gonna add some clarity. And then I'm gonna add some contrast by increasing the DH. Again, go to the light panel and then curve. So here I have already copied the settings. So for now I'm going to just paste it here. Okay, here if you cannot see, so I'm gonna decrease the exposure all the way down. And again, so here what I did was I lift up the blocks and then add. An S curve all through the red, green, and blue channel. So you can see. So these are the settings for the cards. Set the exposure and then go to the color. Here I'm gonna increase the temperature. Also, I'm gonna add some green tone by decreasing the tint. So I'm gonna desaturate the photo and add some vibrance. I'm gonna go to the light and then bring down the exposure. It's okay for now. And then I'm gonna go to the mix panel and then select yellow and move the hue of yellow towards green. So I'm gonna desaturate the yellowish green. Here you can see it's affecting the sand over there. And I'm gonna select the green and then move the hue to our cyan. Here also I'm gonna decrease the saturation. Put the cyan and then move the hue towards blue. So I'm gonna desaturate it a bit. I'm gonna select blue and then move the hue, I think, to the till. I'm gonna leave 
save it here and then desaturate it okay. lastly I'm gonna desaturate the purple and magenta all the way down and we're done with the settings so now I'm gonna decrease the exposure more go to the select panel and I'm gonna add a radial filter you can see so I'm gonna increase the exposure of it also bring down the contrast and guys if you don't have this premium version of Lightroom then check the link description down below bring up the highlights also shadows I think I'm gonna bring up the whites also yep and I'm gonna go to the effect and then bring on the clarity a ton also I'm gonna add some hedge and lastly I'm gonna just add a warm tone or orange color Now I'm going to duplicate the radial filter and then make it a bit narrower. Make it a bit smaller and then place it over here. I think to the border areas of the first one. A bit left side. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna play with the settings. I'm gonna dehaze it a bit. Okay. Also, I'm gonna desaturate the color. Nice looking good. I'm gonna duplicate this radial filter and then make it a bit bigger I think yeah I'm gonna play with the settings I'm 
with the saturation of the color and I'm gonna select the first one and then duplicate the filter once again then place it over here I think I'm gonna make the first first filter a bit narrower I'm gonna play with the settings of this filter so here I'm gonna increase the saturation I guess yep. and then add some temperature and decrease the exposure of it also the shadows and whites I'm gonna decrease the dehaze as well and we're done and now I'm gonna add one last real filter to brighten up the shutter button So here I'm going to increase the highlights, shadows and the white. And that's it. This is before and after. Okay, and I'm going to copy the settings. Select all and I'm gonna remove all the radial filter so that I can show you the what it did. So I'm gonna paste the settings so here you can see. Okay guys, that's it for this video. So hope you have enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Peace.